This is a special weekend report of Prophecies This Week in Bible Prophecy. The leader of Italian Democratic Party, Walter Veltroni, proposed the creation of an organization of religious nations to be based in Rome and said this is an idea that is liked by both UN Secretary Ban Ki-moon as well as Pope Benedict. Iran is launching the Iranian oil borscht on February 27th, and there is talks going on that possibly the Russian ruble could be used to trade oil as well. Emerging church pastor issues a 30-day sex challenge. Syria and Iran are anticipating serious military clash with Israel. This and more on Prophecies This Week in Bible Prophecy, February 23rd, 2008. Folks, this is a very special report here at This Week in Bible Prophecy. In the last 72 hours, incredible things have taken place in light of Bible prophecy. In the news, Iran plans to open their Iranian oil borscht on February 27th. Folks, Iran is one of the top five producers of oil in the world. Coupled with Russia, who is number two in both export and production, this is a serious situation. The catch is, is that the oil will be traded in real. This is Iran's currency, thus making the rial a global currency. Folks, it's also speculated that the ruble will also be allowed to be traded at the Iranian oil borscht, and again, making the ruble a global reserve currency. There's been absolutely no mention of the dollar nor the euro, and in fact, it's been speculated that the euro will be the currency of choice. But this is actually bad news for America. And we, in light Bible prophecy, we know that America is not in Bible prophecy, nor she mentioned in the Bible. So we need to be basically taken out of the picture in a sense. If Iran opens their borscht and thus making the rial a global currency of choice, what this does is strengthens the rial and then it also devalues the dollar. Currently we are seeing the dollar being greatly devalued at this moment and so this is this is could possibly kick the legs out from underneath the American financial market. Another thing that we are looking at too is China. China holds a ton of U.S. Treasury bills. If they decide to liquidate those Treasury bills, that also too can kick out the financial legs of this nation. Right of Bible prophecy, America is looking at some storms here in the future. Just announced, a religious organization of nations. Italian Democratic Party leader and former mayor of Rome, Walter Veltroni, announced the creation of the Organization of Religious Nations to be based in Rome. Veltroni said that both Secretary General Ki-moon and Pope Benedict like the idea. Veltroni likens his proposal to that of the United Nations located in New York. He says it will be a place where representatives of all faiths can meet and talk among themselves. Folks, we know that according to scripture, in fact we read in Revelation 17, that the whore of Babylon will be stationed in Rome. The whore of Babylon is the one world church. We read in scripture. really know about it? Well, Genesis 1-1 tells us the earth has a creator. Uh, Genesis 8-22 tells us the earth has a sustainer. Uh, there will be times and seasons as long as the earth remains. Then Psalms 47-9 tells us the earth has a protector defender, which is God. Then Psalms 24-1 tells us the inhabitants of the earth have a landlord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. 
You know, and if there's a problem here on the earth, whether you see it as uh, the environment, the politics, the culture, or whatever, the best thing to do is take the problem to the landlord. Boldly approach God the Father through Christ the Son. Tell Him what's bothering you about this world. Well, the Bible also tells us the earth has a future where the best and worst is yet to come. Uh, looming on the prophetic horizon is the seven-year time known as the Great Tribulation. Then we have a thousand-year kingdom, which is only good for those who choose God in this life. For a catalog of the joy and wonder of that time, read Isaiah chapter 35. I'm Barbara Henderson, and I'll see you next time on This Week in Bible Prophecy. Pastor Issues 30-Day Sex Challenge The relevant church pastored by Pastor Paul Wirth has issued the following challenge. Single men and women can't have sex for 30 days, but married couples are urged to have sex daily. Folks, what is wrong with this picture? Single men and women can't have sex? If these are God-fearing Christians, they shouldn't be having sex in the first place. This is called fornication, and the Bible is very clear about this. But shame on the pastor for even condoning this in his congregation. Scripture says... I'm Mike Mickey of RaptureAlert.com reporting for Prophecines this week in Bible Prophecy. This week in Bible Prophecy, Iranian and Hezbollah threats against the existence of the nation of Israel have been levied once again. Iranian leader Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has predicted the end of Israel yet again, and Hassan Nasrallah in the wake of Imad Magnaya's, Hezbollah's second-in-command, being assassinated in Damascus recently, is vowing that another war will take place between Hezbollah and Israel that will see Israel's army decimated in an unprecedented battle that he believes Hezbollah will win. As we look at Bible prophecy, we see that a number of battles are going to take place in the Middle East in the last days, ultimately culminating in the Battle of Armageddon that will see Jesus Christ and the armies of heaven return to set things straight once and for all here in this sin-filled world. Just today on my website, RaptureAlert.com, I posted a commentary by Brother Jack Kelly of GraceThroughFaith.com on Psalm 83. I hope everyone will get by and try to get a look at that as it definitely is relevant with events that are currently taking place. Reporting for Prophecines this week in Bible Prophecy, I'm Mike Mickey. God bless you all. Here at Prophecy, we're working very hard to show that Bible prophecy is, in fact, coming to pass. Bible prophecy is the signature of God. And if Bible prophecy is coming to pass, it means that the Word of God is true. So, folks, where are you going to spend eternity? Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 states, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Finally, 1 John 1.19 does say, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Folks, if you do not know the Lord, as your personal Savior, don't wait. No one is guaranteed to tomorrow. Confess your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. My name is Ray Gano from all of us here at Prophecine. Thank you so much for downloading this video. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye and Maranatha.